second video, I will show you all the components individually and how to hook them up together. As I said earlier, uh, the transistor that I use is a power transistor. Uh, this transistor you can find in the uh, power supply PCB in any components like your DVD, uh, amplifiers, even your TV set will have this uh, transistor. Now, uh, for the resistor, I use a 100 ohm resistor instead because uh, of the higher amplification factor. You don't need a 1000 ohm resistor uh, in, like in the original experiment. Uh, the coils I use are, are these uh, coils that are, can be found in the speaker boxes or in uh, any kind of uh, amplifier circuits. Uh, they come in various sizes, but these are, these are a pretty good size. Uh, uh, the important thing to remember is to get two identical uh, coils because this works on the flyback uh, transformer principle and uh, the back EMF must uh, be able to induce uh, the voltage to be able to, for this uh, experiment to work. That's why they must be identical. As I said in my earlier uh, video, uh, the winding is the easiest way to trip up. Let's say you wind it the wrong way, it's not going to light up. But Using this uh, method of uh, uh, connecting the wires together, if you make a mistake, all you have to do is just turn the winding to the correct orientation and it lights up again. See? So it's uh, foolproof uh, if you use a pair of windings like this. Uh, and uh, you can even uh, strengthen the, the magnetic field if you put a bolt, a steel bolt through the windings. Uh, usually these windings come with a hole and if you you can get a bolt uh, and you can just put it together like this. It will really strengthen the, the feel. There you go. So now you have a winding connected together. You have the power transistor, which is right here. The battery. Hi, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, work. First of all, I'm going to introduce to you all the various components that I'm using and uh, uh, I'm going to show you how to hook it up. Uh, the first thing uh, we're going to talk about is the power transistor. Now, the power transistor is a lot bigger than uh, the transistor that was used in the original Joel Thief uh, experiment. This is what uh, was recommended. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, and this is the this is the power transistor. The power transistor is a pretty uh, common item. Uh, you can usually find a couple of these bad boys in uh, uh, your DVD player, TV, stereo. Now, once you remove it, uh, be careful. You have to, in addition to desoldering the electrodes, uh, you also have to remove it from the heat. Uh, the heat sink, they call it, uh, because of the uh, large amount of heat generated uh, when it's uh, operating. But don't worry about the jolt if uh, the voltage uh, use or is not high enough to uh, require a heat sink. Uh, but in the original circuit that was designed, uh, it usually gives off a lot of heat, which is why it needs a heat sink. Uh, once you remove the uh, the electrodes, you have to uh, unscrew the bolt. That, uh, that's that's the purpose of the hole uh, at the top. I wonder if you can see it. Uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, uh, once you remove the power transistor, uh, the next thing to do is to find out where the base is. Uh, now it has three electrodes: one for the base, one for the emitter, and one for the collector. Once you locate the base, the other two will be the emitter and collector. The most important thing is do not connect the power directly to the base. You will fry the transistor in an instant. Uh, uh, once you locate the base, uh, the other two electrode will be the emitter and collector. And it doesn't matter in the Joel uh, experiment uh, whether you connect the, the electrodes uh, and switch the collector and emitter the other way around the Joel uh, thief experiment still works. Uh, although the emitter and collector does not have any uh, polarity issues, uh, it will work even if you switch the two connections around. The LED must be connected to the correct polarity, otherwise the lights will not light up. Uh, 
So uh, we have taken care of the base and the uh, emitter and collector. Now let me show you how you can uh, tell which is which electrode is the, the base, the emitter and the collector. What you need to do is to get a multimeter and check uh, the electrodes. Uh, in order to locate the base, uh, we check the electrodes two at a time. The emitter and collector will not conduct both ways. The emitter base connection will conduct one way but not the other way. Likewise with the collector and the base, it will only conduct one way but not the other way. So using this uh, trial and error method, you can locate where the base is. Once you know where the base is, uh, then the other two electrodes will be the emitter and collector. In the original Joel uh, Thief experiment, uh, the coil the, or the winding is the easiest way to trip up. If your coil is, uh, if you use the wrong wires, it's not going to work. If you, if your winding is not tight enough, or if it doesn't have the correct number of turns, it's also not going to work. Uh, there are all kinds of ways to trip up in the original Joel Thief experiment. But with this way, uh, it's not possible to trip up. Uh, if you make the wrong connection, uh, you can just uh, change the orientation of the coil and the the lights will, the LED will light up. Uh, so it's not possible to make any mistake with this method. The important thing to note about the winding is, uh, in, in this experiment is uh, to make sure that the lacquer is removed uh, so that it conducts. You can check this with the multimeter because if uh, the lacquer is not uh, properly removed, uh, it will not conduct and uh, your LEDs will not light up. As you can see, uh, I joined uh, two wires together. It doesn't matter which uh, which two you use, as long as it's one from uh, one coil. Uh, uh, if you have difficulty soldering the two wires together, you can always use one of these uh, caps. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, that's how we join the two wires together. And uh, the two other wires, uh, one goes to the resistor, as you remember, and the other one goes to the uh, the transistor and the LED.